Okay, today we're going to cover a few different knots that you can use for the summer bracelets. We're very excited. We have all kinds of new cord in the store. It's nice to have options on how you finish the different bracelets. So the first one we're going to do is a fixed slide knot. We're going to take a large hole B and thread the cord through. This is a 21 inch piece of cord which we're going to leave one side longer than the other because where you do the slide knot you need to save an extra few inches. So for this design it's going to be real simple. I'm going to thread on a couple of beads and I'm going to leave probably an extra four inches on one side to the other so let's try and find the center point and to keep these in place just going to do an overhand knot on either side of the center beads. There's one. There is the second knot. So the way we measure to see where the slide knot is going to sit, where we're going to start it, take the bracelet and center it on your wrist. And then what we're going to do is go to the back of your wrist and see where the center point is and then allow a little extra so that you have a comfy fit. And then what I'm going to do is keep my finger there, take this and measure the other side. So I'm going to start wrapping the knot at that point. You can create a slide knot that has probably between one to three wraps. Quite honestly, if you're starting, it's easiest if you just do a one wrap. I'm going to show you both. If I was doing three, I would just create a little tunnel and then taking the long end, come back to the bracelet interior side and just slide it down through the tunnel. You want to keep this as small as possible because you're going to have to tighten these up. The easiest way to do that is to start with the center one and just ease them. You want to pull it tight enough so that you can still slide the cord through. Now we can try it on and see if this is right. See I've got extra cord here. What you're looking for is to find the smallest amount you can undo it so that you can still get your hand in and out. The reason being is that we're going to tie a knot on the end of the cords and if you have it where it's really loose you're going to have long ends. Let me try that one more time. That's probably a good fit. So what we're going to do here is thread on one of these little beads and tie a knot right behind it. And then on the other side, pull it in, find the center point. Thread on the bead so it goes same length. Tie on the second knot. And then just readjust so that you've got similar lengths on those. Just trim the ends. It is good if you've got a really sharp pair of scissors, which these aren't. This is how you make a slide knot. It is nice because with this one, you only need to pull on one side. So you can hold it in your hand and just slide it in. There's your finished bracelet.